Hey guys, what's up? It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I have a room makeover for you guys today. I am so freaking excited about this makeover. I'm already done with it, and it's gonna be actually a two-part series, so part one and part two. I'm gonna keep this intro super, super short and sweet because this video is jam-packed with so much. This is going to be the first part of the makeover. I'm also doing three full DIY projects at the end of this video, just as kind of like an add-on because I wanted to add a couple of personalized elements to their space as well, so definitely stay tuned throughout the video to see those DIY projects. But a little background on this makeover, my roommate Marie actually has a childhood friend. Her name is Nicolette, and she lives here in Los Angeles with her roommate Abby. And they have moved into an apartment together, but the living space is kind of a challenge. It's like a living space mixed with a kitchen. It's just very, very hard. It kind of almost feels like a studio vibe, but it's a two bedroom apartment. And they've had a challenge kind of like designing that space for a while now. And so I was talking to them, they came over the other day and I was like, why don't we do a little makeover on your guys' space? Because they actually told me they were going to Joshua Tree this past weekend. So they were gone Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. They didn't have to work for President's Day. And it was just the perfect timing to do kind of like a surprise living room, kitchen, dining, area transformation and I'm also extremely excited because today's video is actually in partnership with Decenio which is one of my favorite brands to work with ever you guys have seen me work with them multiple times and I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video so you guys can check out all those art prints but stay tuned because there is a lot in this video and there's three projects at the end that you are not going to want to miss because they are super super cute but let me share with you guys the before of the apartment and we can get started alrighty guys so I'm going to share with you a before of the apartment I just got here but first of all look at this cat Oh my gosh. Apparently this cat is from the same cat that breeds Taylor Swift's cats. And this is a famous cat. So basically this is the room that we're gonna be making over. It is a living room and kitchen compacted into one. So this is kind of gonna be a little bit of a challenge because it's honestly not the biggest space ever and they wanna maximize the functionality of it but also make it cute and also make sure that the kitchen's useful. And there's also a fireplace in here. So a lot of the walls in this living room area are taken up. So we really only have this one large wall here. So I'm really excited to see what I can do in this kind of small space makeover. So I think we should just honestly get started. What do you think, Corby? Should we get started? We're just starting to paint. So the first thing I want to do here is actually paint that wall because that's going to kind of be the focal point of this entire space. And the paint that I'm actually using is from Glidden and it is called Night Wash. It is such a pretty color. It looks like this. And then I also picked this up. I tend to always get this whenever I'm doing a little like painting job because I think this is like $9 or $12 or something. It has everything you need in there. And then I also got some frog tape because this is great to just tape up any of the baseboards or doors or anything like that. So I'm going to start off by taping and then we're gonna get to painting. I feel like I sound like that girl from um, Cinderella's where she's like, mm, the cookies are so moist. So since this paint was on the darker side, it did require three full coats, which was totally fine since we only did one accent wall. It didn't take too long, but it did require three coats. And I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you want to use a paint like this. So we just added a third coat here and then we kind of took the couch that they already had and flipped it to see how it would look 
in the space coming kind of going this way and i actually like it a lot because i feel like it kind of consolidates this area living area and then this area as the kitchen space and i was also thinking about possibly getting like a really really small table here with like two chairs You guys, look what just arrived at the apartment. It's all the Desenio artwork and the frames, which I am so excited about because they are the sponsor of today's video, which is super exciting. So let me go ahead and open this because I cannot wait to see what these frames look like. I got gold ones, which I've never gotten before. So let me open this. It is always an amazing day when a Desenio box arrives on your doorstep because you know there's gonna be amazing stuff inside. I actually got five posters and five frames and I absolutely love the posters I ended up getting. I got kind of like a minimal monochromatic color scheme with a little bit of green to match that green wall, but I wanted it to be bold and graphic, but not too insane. So I really like the selects that I got and I will link the exact ones below for you guys. But if you've never heard of Desenio before, you are definitely missing out. They are a affordable Scandinavian poster company and they ship to the US within five days, which is crazy. I literally got my prints and posters within three days of ordering and they have such a wide selection of posters and frames to really suit everyone's style. Like I swear you guys can find absolutely anything to suit your style on their site. So I actually opted for the gold frames because I thought the gold would look so, so stunning against that kind of dark greenish wall that we painted. So I basically just quickly assembled all of the prints, which is super easy to pop them in the frames. And of course, Corby loves them as well. As you could see, he is just living for these prints as much as I am. But it is time to hang the frames, which I was super excited about. I knew they were gonna have a TV in front of it. So I kind of wanted to do almost this like 3D layered look. So I had some of the frames kind of peeking out from behind the TV, but also on the right and left side of the TV as well, just to make it look like this whole section of the apartment was one cohesive piece if that makes sense as opposed to scattering everything around because there isn't much space to work with so i wanted to consolidate this space as much as possible and desenio honestly was truly amazing with giving me a coupon code for you guys and it is for 30 percent off of posters if you use the code drew at checkout i'll put it on the screen for you guys this is going to be valid from february 21st to the 24th so make sure to mark your calendars also remind you guys on social media and such so definitely take advantage of this 30 percent off offer and use code drew at checkout and I'll make sure to link to Senio's site below with all the selects that I got in case you are curious. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited because the article furniture pieces were delivered. You can actually kind of see this one and this chair over here, which is just super exciting. I'm very, very thankful because Article actually gifted me these pieces for this makeover, which is amazing. And the reason I reached out to Article because I absolutely love working with them. I've done so many videos in the past featuring Article pieces is because you guys, this was a super quick turnaround on this project. I literally ordered these pieces on Tuesday and they had them delivered and fully assembled on Friday, which is crazy. I'll order over $999 actually ship for free and then anything underneath it actually ships for just $49 flat rate which is great and then even smaller items because they have like some decorative objects as well ship for only $19. You can also add on affordable upgrade options such as in-room delivery and assembly which I always choose the assembly option because they come in and they build it and put it all together and place it where you want it which is amazing. And lastly article also offers a 30-day money-back 
satisfaction guarantee. So if you are not satisfied with your items, which I swear you're gonna be because I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you're not satisfied, you can actually refund the items. They'll come and they'll pick them up from you, take them away, and then you're only gonna be charged with like the basic $49 delivery fee, which is not that crazy for them coming all the way back and picking up the items. So keep that in mind as well. It's easy to try things out and you're not gonna lose a lot on like return shipping or anything like that. I wanna share with you guys the four pieces of furniture I got because they are so cute and you guys are going to love these. They are perfect for this space. So the first largest item I got is the sofa and this is the Nirvana sofa in Dakota tan. It is such a pretty color. This is almost the same exact sofa I have in my living room. Mine's actually the timber sofa also from Article. But the sofa has incredibly soft down filled cushions and it is upholstered in a buttery soft leather. It is so, so pretty and it actually kind of distresses and patinas over time. So the more you sit on it and the more you use it, it kind of gets that worn in look. It already has it, but it's not too crazy and it's just gonna get better over time, which I love. The next item I got is actually the chair that you can kind of see right here. This is the audio lounge chair in mist gray and it is such a stunning chair. I'm actually thinking about getting two of these for my apartment and it is just a angled solid wood frame as you can see right here and then it has these really pretty kind of like cushiony cushions. I love how thick these are. They're really nice quality and amazing. It's just like a very, very comfortable chair and it actually comes in both fabric and leather options so you can actually pick the textile that you want. I feel like it's like a statement piece but at the same time it also just blends really nicely with the other items I got like as you can see this darker wood console here kind of coordinates back to the wood in the chair so I love that about it. But I do think that my favorite piece I got is the sideboard here. This is going to be used as a media console and this is the Seno 71 inch console in walnut. It is so pretty. Look at this color of wood. I'm typically not the biggest fan of dark wood but when it's done like this it looks amazing, especially with the green wall that I did. I'm very, very excited about this. And each cabinet actually has one adjustable shelf inside, which is amazing. And the drawers are also soft to close, so you don't have to worry about them like slamming shut. It is constructed from solid wood and veneer, but it also has like a tapered mid-century style leg, which is something I really wanted in this apartment. I really liked the look of mid-century, especially with that wall color I chose. And last but not least, we have the Naro side table in brass. This is the most beautiful side table I've ever seen. It has a really, really kind of like chunky smooth marble base on the bottom and then it has a brass sort of pull and then a brass top to it. It's just really pretty. And this is a perfect table to tuck into small spaces for sure. And again, it has that really, really nice heavy marble base, which is great because it's gonna make sure that your table is nice and anchored to the floor and nothing's moving. But you guys definitely have to check out Article. I'm going to put them in the description box below for you guys. They are amazing. I'll link all the pieces I got as well from them. Just a company that I've been using and loving for a long time. And I highly suggest them if you are looking for any furniture pieces. So jumping into project number one, I wanted to create a couple of magnets because their fridge is kind of another focal point of the kitchen. It's just really bold and just right there since it is in the middle of everything as well. So I wanted to create some DIY magnets just to accent the fridge. So what I did was I got some Sculpey clay, which is just your basic generic clay, and I rolled it out to about a quarter inch thick. That way it still had a nice thickness to it. And I used this set of circle cookie cutters that I've had in my stash for a long time to cut out three, I would say probably like one and a half inch two inch circles and then I cut out two smaller circles because I wanted to create some half circle shapes and also some moon shapes which I will show you how I did right now so how I did this was I took a smaller circle cookie cutter and I just punched out kind of like the side of the smaller circles to create this moon shape and then for the larger circles I just used a knife to cut them directly in half because I really love the look of half circles when they're on top and bottom of something whether you use it as like a wall decor piece or as a magnet or or as a wall hook, whatever it might be. I feel like it's just a very chic look. And you're gonna bake those according to the instructions. And I picked up these magnets. I burnt these guys. I burnt them good, but they kind of look pretty burnt. I completely forgot they were in the oven and I crisped them. So we're gonna paint them though. So it doesn't really matter. It didn't really do anything to the actual like appearance or anything. So I'm gonna paint over it. I added the magnets to the backside with some hot glue and I used the carbon black paint from Golden, which is just the best black paint. Like, I don't know how I can stress this enough. Like, look how easy this does it. One full coat and you have an opaque black like paint job. It looks amazing. So I painted all of these black because I just wanted them to pop on the fridge. Originally I was going to do brass, but I just felt like the brass and silver might clash a little. So those were my finished magnets. 
This next product is one that I actually found on Pinterest and it was looked it looked like this when I found it and I was completely obsessed with it. It is actually by a blogger. Her name is Bliss Makes and I'm going to link below her original post because this is 100% her idea, but I wanted to recreate it because I thought it was super cute. And what I did was I grabbed four different colors of clay from the craft store and I just rolled them. And the way I suggest rolling them is to kind of do it as I'm showing here where you roll it against a surface and kind of stretch both of your hands left and right while you're rolling. That way you can get a thin little strip of clay. Clay. So I did this with all four colors and tried to create the most consistent kind of quarter inch tube. And next what I did was I rolled my first one in half, uh, which was going to be the darkest color. Then I went into the tan color. And when I first started doing this, I actually cut each individual color, but I realized after the fact that you can kind of just create the shape first and then cut the ends so they're all cohesive. Then I added the pink and last but not least, I finished it off with the white cut it all and that creates your little rainbow of clay. This was actually another colorway I did, but I didn't like it as much. So I referred back to my first colorway and just repeated that process going from darkest on the inside to lightest on the outside. And as you can see, kind of as I went on and created more, I actually just created the shape and then cut it all at once to create all of our little rainbow shapes. For the base of our planter, I'm actually using this faux plant I got at Target for the room makeover, but I'm spicing it up with our baked little rainbows. So I pulled them out of the oven and I just used some hot glue to secure them onto the front. Now, if you're wondering why the color is a little bit different, that is because they too kind of burned, but it wasn't anything crazy to where I couldn't use them. They just look a little bit darker than they originally were, but I think it still looks super, super cute. So I glued them in a sporadic pattern similar to how the Bliss Make Blogger did. And I just love the outcome of this project. So our last and final project was also one inspired by Bliss Makes as well. I saw this on Pinterest and wanted to create my own version. So I found this little line drawing face as well on Pinterest and kind of replicated the look of it. And how I did this was I just used some white clay and I roll it out to be a very, very thin and long strip, which I was then going to put on top of the pot and kind of emulate the face shape. Uh, and basically it's like a one line face, but it really wouldn't stick on the pot. So I actually ended up just creating it on a little piece of parchment paper as shown here and I just tried to create a similar shape uh, to the one that I had found I created a little eyeball as well and then I also created some lips which were just gonna be added in to the center Once that was done, I actually ended up cutting out the parchment paper so that I was able to pull the shape away from the base. And then I laid it on top of the pot and used a little bit of tape just to secure the parchment around. And this actually like let the clay kind of sit on top of it very nicely. And I baked it just sitting straight up according to the instructions. And then once it was baked, everything was actually pretty hard and not flimsy at all. So I was actually able to pull it off and then used hot glue to secure it in some of like the most crucial points you would want to secure this in. So just wherever it was able to be secured, I used hot glue to make sure to bond that to the pot. I also added on the eyeball and of course the lips as well, which I think just kind of finish off the look of this. And this is just such a cute little minimal planter that I'm really excited to use in the apartment.